Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. <laughs> Hello! We're back! <laughs> I don't have my lucky sweat, but it's the same day than the two first episodes that we watched together this morning. I didn't say hi. Hello! Hi! I'm Laura! I'm gonna watch Vikings Valhalla Season 1, Episode 3. Like I just said, I watched this morning the two first episodes. If you want to see my reaction videos about that, I'm gonna put the links into the eye. I'm really, 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 really glad to, to be there with you to film my reactions to this show for sure, but to, to have discovered it, you know, this morning with these two first episodes and to have clicked with it so quick. I mean, so quick, not that quick, like it's two hours in fact that I spent with this show, so it's logical, but like I think all of the fans of Vikings, of the, the original show, if you don't know it, I reacted to the last seasons, the two last seasons, check the playlist. Like all of the fans of Vikings, I think that I was impatient to discover this one, but also worried about it because I didn't want it to be bad, you know, to, to be not well written, to be too much, to be not enough also, you, you know, it was really like a balance to find and also to not be just a copy of Vikings, to not just, you know, be like Vikings and use all of the tools of Vikings and not find itself, stuff like that. I was worried about that, but I was really excited to discover it also. So I'm really, really glad. After the first episode, I already knew that it was going to be good because it has all of the things that I loved into Vikings. I mean, all of the subjects that you can explore and also the codes that you can have with this universe and all. It has also so many differences, in fact, into some details, you know, with how it's filmed, but also with a total different story because we're <laughs> into a total different time with different characters, with different issues, with different subjects to explore, like we still have the, the normal things that we can have by following Vikings, you know, during that period of time. Like it's normal to have Vikings having some issues to be united and also all of these discussions about religion. But at the same time, they are doing it in a different way because these Vikings, they are divided because of religion they are converted a lot to Christianism that time and in fact they are mocking a lot the pagan ones and we have the different ways of the Vikings represented by people coming from Greenland and also the new way of Vikings these people that we met in Katagat some of them are Christian, some of them are still pagan and we have also the really Christian Viking with Olaf, represented by Olaf, like we have all of these different Vikings. So the religion is a subject, but it's really not the same thing in fact than into Vikings, because into Vikings it was just to explore it at first with Ragnar and after that to be converted or not with the sons. Right there, it's already done and we have to deal with the consequences of that for the culture of the Vikings. It's different. And uniting Vikings right there, it's not just uniting Vikings, all of the kind of Vikings, you know, Norway, Denmark, all of that. Like, we're not talking about uniting Vikings from different territories. We're really talking about more deep stuff. In fact, when religion is becoming a real issue for that. And we have also family stories, like we had into Vikings, but it's so different also because right there we have the brother and sister relationship with Frida and Leif and that revenge story, you know, that was a personal issue, a personal revenge and we have also the brother relationship between Olaf and Harald and Stan, but Stan died really, really quick but it's gonna be important, I think, still for Harald 
to be against or not, you know Olaf at some point, like he already lost a brother, does he want to lose another brother even if he's not close, that close to him? That can be an issue. And that's a brother relationship. There is also a question of revenge to have that revenge for their brother. But it's also the revenge of all Vikings because all Vikings were attacked and we're talking also about the big history with Red and Mond who became the king with Emma, the descendant of Rollo. <laughs> Emma, the descendant of Rollo. Oh, I'm sorry, the like, <laughs> like you want to kill me. It's but I can respect the girl, like she's so, you know. She... We want to respect her, you know, she's thinking about things like that and all. Girls into this show so far are great, like, for now, I'm not gonna be like, okay, she can be by Lagarta or something like that. For none of them, I mean, because there is one and only Lagarta, like, there is one and only Ragnar, Bjorn, Ivan, and all of that. But these characters, for themselves, it's great, it's something great also about this show, and it's showing that it's a total different show, it's the fact that I can't say, okay, him is acting like the other one was acting into the other show. Do you understand what I mean? Like, they didn't take things from the other characters to create this new ones. No, they totally created them, even if they are descendants. <laughs> they are playing a little with that. Even if they made that, the characters on themselves, their attitudes, their ways to be, their principles, all of that, it's not making me think of other characters and they are really there for themselves. Like to have Frida having that big face, she's gonna go on a, on a face trip, I don't know how to explain it in another way. To have Leaf who wants to, to have his honor back maybe, the honor of his family back by being a true Viking. There is something like that, but like I said, he can be the most interesting character in fact because he can go into so many different ways. Oh, I didn't put the backup for the sound. <laughs> I was saying, he can be the most interesting character because his development can be so impressive. Like, I have the impression of to have a character that who is still trying to find himself when for Liv, for Harold, who are also the main characters, they already found themselves and they already have stuff, you know, about their characters when Liv it's just at the beginning of his personal journey of the development that he can have. So he can go in that direction, we can have a situation also with the religion, like his relationship also with Harald can be so interesting. Harald, as the prince of Norway, how he acted during the first episode, like at first Olaf, he refused to help with the war, he accepted because Harold intervened and convinced him with money. After that, during the other speech, they were fighting Vikings against each other. It was Harold who intervened to unite them because he knows them, because he talked to their hearts. Harold is gonna play that part, you know, of being the future king of Norway, of uniting people, and he has that into him that. He was raised like a true Viking, if we can say it like that, and still he's a Christian and he wants Christian and Pagan to, to be united, to work together, like he has nothing against the Pagan. He's leaving his face for himself, I think. We didn't have him talking about his face yet, I think that at some point maybe that's a discussion that we need to have with him, <laughs> you know. And yes, he can be also great to follow, I can appreciate, I appreciate him already. Like I said before, I think that he can bring a little of fun into this show, even if he's gonna have a lot of serious things to do. All of the other characters for now, they are really serious, serious, at least him at some point, he made some lines like, not funny funny, but a little funny. So it can be great and he has an attitude like he's Ah, we want to appreciate him and I appreciate him. In fact, I can tell it to you, I already like these three a lot and I think that I can love them really quick. For the other characters, the secondary characters, I already like also a lot 
the yell of Katagat because she's great, because I appreciate her ways to do things, to think of things. Uh, Karis also, I appreciate that. Canute also, the king of Denmark, is really great. Someone with principles and values that I can appreciate. I love his way to do stuff. So, really a lot of stuff like that. And Emma, even if she is into the England side, I can appreciate her, I can respect her at least already. And I want to discover more about her, about her story and all, because oh yes, I think that she can be great, really great. Edmund also, Godwin also, like. See, I truly appreciated these two first episodes a lot and I know already that I'm gonna watch and react to this entire first season and I can feel already, you know it's something with me, I can feel when I'm gonna fall in love with a show. It's not the case yet, but I can feel that I can love it a lot. And again, not because I loved Vikings, really for this show on itself I can love it. And same for the characters. It's so cool, you know, that feeling is so cool. That's why I'm excited and I'm so glad, you know, right now. Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro right now. Let's go for this episode 3. Remember that if you want to have my Patreon on which we have some advance on episodes, two or three episodes, again, check the description to know that. We've extended our four action part. It depends if it's gonna be a big episode with a lot of things to react to and I can't cut into it and stuff like that. Again, I put that in the description if I made an extended all four action part. And yes, it's the best way to support me because as you can see, I'm a little reactor. So if you want to support me, come on my Patreon. Let's go to the For the fight! They arrived into England, so that's it, you became the king, I mean on the other side, so normally we're gonna have the fight during this episode. All of them, they have plans, but they are basing their plans on what they think that the other one is gonna do, but you're wrong about what the other one wants to do, so we'll see. <laughs> Let's go. I think that we can say that it's really sunny today, right? I'm attacked by the sun. Coffee, 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 coffee. Ah, oh, clearly it's a fight. Not a big one, maybe. Maybe you're just... Yes, the road to London. You've never killed people, like... Leave, you know how to fight. Scatter or Luf, Luf, I don't know. Which one? Thomas and Johan, I think. And the names, that's... Mm. I'm okay. Some are hiding. Be nice. Okay, you didn't kill her, that's already great. Your war is pointless. King Athelred is already dead. She's lying. Why would you You're gonna bring the news. Why would she lie like right now? When did he die? Ten days ago. You can't have your event? Edmund is a boy, and the nobles will not back him to the family. Don't! Think of him like that. You don't know Emma. The son has to pay for his death? Ask that to Leif. You have to regain what they 
took her from you, for sure. But is it? The sword of the king. Now mine, and my son's sons. But I better to think it was King Edmund who brought Strigo to her land. Your father would be proud. You wish me to cower behind these walls until the battle is over? You may cower if you wish. But you are far too valuable to England to risk it in battle. He has to show himself still. I intend to join him on the battlefield. Your Highness is still a king in waiting. Then all the more reason to be crowned. Taking the crown may every first to risk. If you fall, so does England. It is better to let Sriona take the risk. And the glory. With success, would the nobles not look to him as a more suitable option to be king? Yes, I think I so. That's a big risk. He has to show himself. I don't care if he's not into the battlefield, but he has to be close to the battlefield, like... He seems to have found his voice. He's hunting for him. Ah, I was right! Now it's this guy, but your friend, it's... You fought well for your first battle. Raining becomes you. So now I see where my father was so You're finishing people around? The are supposed to be merciful. It's right. merciful to not let them first. suffer. And why the virtues must say it's Forgiveness, mercy, and love. We're gonna see it? I show him mercy. I think so. For sure, they're gonna die, so stop their pain. I didn't come here to become more like my father. You came here to make the world forget about him and remember you. Mm. You think that is the secret? You will know glory when you reach it, the fairies. Trust me. This is just the path to get there. I already love the relationship between the two of you. I love the relationship before I love the two of you. You're not ready. I think so also. I'd rather learn from my victories instead of defeats. More. You? To test you. Be a smart guy and understand that. Can you even remember the last time you were defeated? You're saying that this song just were cheating? No, no. You're stupid and arrogant, really. You think the Vikings would give you a reprieve? I'm not your enemy, Your Highness. You didn't even sweat. Your arrogance is. Oh, Godwin. Okay, you, you and I. Your arrogance. And you are its definition. I control mine. Hmm. It's confidence. Control. On the road to mercy, you counseled me to listen to my instincts. The Vikings came here to punish your father. His head is no longer an attainable trophy, but yours is. You're right, you're right. But I still think that Edmund should prove himself as a king, one way or another. He wants a coronation because he thinks that it's gonna prove that he is the king. He wants it to be into the battlefield to prove the same. Find another way. <laughs> I think that she's gonna represent you know, the mystic aspect of the show. Into this universe we know how important it is. Are we gonna have some dreams? Mystic dreams? I'm sure you know how to fight. Who is he? 
and he was all alone like Oof, good one Yasa Why were you there and why did you attack it? Okay, just because you were a Christian guy and she was a pagan. This is not a raid. It is a war. A war that you brought upon yourselves by the murders of their people. Yes, they will take your word. But that will not stop them from killing all of you as well. That is what Viking revenge looks like. Your ancestor told you that? Rollo told you that? This is your strategy. Mm. There are roads through. And on the other side is the bridge and the south entrance to London. Tonight we will send scouts to see what's changed. It's not a good road, but it's a good plan. Oh, it's an honor to lead such a mission. It is such an honor. Why didn't your brother pick you? <laughs> Maybe he wants you dead. I will be gone as well. I'll do what is our Can we? We'll be with you. You have a squad.